that a single index model can actually be made a bit less simple and so more flexible by taking the idea behind it and extending it into what we call a multi-factor model or just a factor model. So the idea is very simple. Previously, previously we said that the return on an asset was equal to the risk-free rate plus some alpha value plus beta times the market index plus our epsilon. And obviously we've just taken our single index and our single beta and replaced them by many factors to which we have various different levels of exposure. And these could be all sorts of macroeconomic factors such as the unemployment rate, the inflation rate, what have you. You could even make one of your factors be that same market index that we actually use in the single index model and just introduce some new ones to go along with it. Because ultimately there are going to be things that do affect, you know, just about all assets on the market, but they might be affecting different assets in different degrees, so this really accounts for that. Now if we just have a look at the expected value and, and the uh, variance of these, we can see once again very familiar. We've got the risk-free rate, risk rate plus the alpha plus now the sum of all the betas multiplied by the expected value of the factors. Now, 